Hello, it's Linda here, um, and today I brought this project along for you. Um, I posted this up on my blog a few days ago now. Um, what I tend to do is, for my customers, when I've received orders, I always send out a thank you pack. And in that thank you pack, there's always a handmade card for me, from me, um, together with a little else handmade so sometimes it's covered notebooks but um, for last week I decided that I was going to send out some chocolate treats to my customers so I made these little boxes up and these little boxes hold a 42 gram box of Galaxy Smooth Milk Chocolate Anyway, I posted the box up on the site and, and although I put all the measurements and everything up, I think people were quite taken with it and I did get a lot of requests um, for a video tutorial. So I thought I'd pop along here and, and um, go through that with you today um, using beautiful stamp set which is called Blooms and Wishes. So I'll be showing you that later and also another stamp set called Hello Friend. Um, I do love these boxes and I'm really happy that they were well received. Um, on my blog and I'm very happy to be bringing you a tutorial on how to make them today so thanks very much for joining me and I'm going to get on and show you how to put one of these together. Okay so today I'm working in thick whisper white cardstock um, and it's important that you use the thick whisper white because the quality of the box is going to be much nicer than if you just go for our standard more lightweight whisper white cardstock. Okay, so this piece measures five and a quarter by seven and three eighths. And on the short side, you're going to make your first score line at half an inch. Then you're going to score at two and three eighths. Then at two and seven eighths. And then you're going to score at four and three quarters. Okay, then I'm just going to turn your cardstock and you're going to score at half an inch and at one inch. Turn it around again and do the same. So in at half an inch and at one. So that's all the scoring done. And now I'm just going to go around and I'm going to burn, burnish all of my score lines. Okay, so now they're all burnished, I'm just going to do some cutting. And so what we're going to do is we're going to lose these four little sections here. So one, two, three and four. So I'm just going to... Cut across there and then down here. I'm going to do the same on this side. So we're going to lose one, two, three, and four. Okay, and so now what you're going to do is just cut down this score line here to that, set, that point, do the same here and then you're just going to remove the two little squares on the outside like that and like that and whilst you're there just wedge them, just take a little tiny wedge off of each one like that and we're going to do the same this end And then just quickly going to round off a couple of, well, going to round off the um, ends on, on each side. So I'm just going to take my corner rounder. Okay, so now we're ready for the nice bit. So we're going to decorate this box with some beautiful stamping. Now, 
I've chosen to use four lovely complementary colours. So we've got the here, so saffron. I have got pool party. I've got pear pizzazz and melon mambo. So I'm going to start with the melon mambo. And I've got here this beautiful set. This is Blooms and Bliss and I'm using these three large flowers here and I'm going to be using one of the leaves and this little centrepiece here. Okay. So I've already gone ahead and I've loaded up my stamp with the first flower and so I'm just going to load it up now with my melon mambo and I'm just going to do some sort of random stamping I, I don't want to um, stamp necessarily on this piece here so I'm aiming to sort of stamp on on the sides here and onto the actual box itself Now what it needs is some green to start pulling it all together and I think you'll see what I mean. This sort of really brings it to life now. So I'm using my pear pizzazz. Right, and I've got this teeny tiny little stamp here. So I'm just literally going to load it with some colour and I'm just going to stamp in the centre of each of these flowers. Okay, so that's looking pretty now and I just want to add a leafy detail so I've got a little leaf here and I'm just going to randomly stick some leaves onto the design. Okay, so now we've got that. Okay, and so it just needs the sentiment now in the middle of the box. Now you could put a topper on it if you want to, but I just thought I was going to really go for the wow factor. Um, and so I'm using my Misty. I've chosen a nice large sentiment to be stamped onto the box. Okay, so there's my Misty. And the reason I'm using the Misty is because I am aware that my stays on is getting a little dried out so it does need re-inking so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hello sentiment which is in this set here called hello friend and I'm just going to place it round about there on my box I'm bringing the misty over to pick up the stamp okay. and then I'm just going to Oops, Ooh, that's not too clever. <laughs> and what I'm going to do now is just ink up this stamp here with plenty of black ink. And I'm probably going to have to do this two or three times because, like I said, I want it to be a really, really bold um, stamp with not too many like little white bits showing through. Actually, that's perfect. I'm not going to stamp over it again at all. I didn't get that result straight away the other day with it, so I'm obviously having a good day today. So let me just take this off of here now and show you. I think that looks really, it's lovely. It's a really nice, bright, summery box for a showery, rainy autumn day, which is what it's doing here at the moment. Um, so anyway, there we go. That, that, that's the um, stamping done. So I'm just going to stick the box together now. And to do that... I'm just going to take some double-sided tape. I'm just going to go along here like this. Bring this over and pop this down. Okay. And then just tuck, tuck those in and push my box in like that and I'm going to grab 
my galaxy bar okay so these galaxy bars are the 42 gram bars um, these come in packs of four from the supermarket I've bought these in Sainsbury's I think I picked them up in Tesco's as well but um, they're available sort of a lot of outlets really so it's the 42 gram uh, sized little bar of chocolate I'm just going to pop that in there close the lid and all that remains now is just for me to finish it off with a little bit of a ribbon trim I just think that looks really nice so I've got here my classic weave whisper white ribbon okay I'm just going to cut off a little piece it's as simple as this there's not going to be any other embellishments at all but I think the box is just so pretty in itself that it doesn't need an awful lot of embellishing I think the stamps speak for themselves really so there we go So that is my little box. So as I said, I make these boxes. Um, periodically I send out covered notebooks to customers and sometimes I, I decide to send them a nice chocolate gift. Um, last week's customers will be receiving these nice little chocolate gifts um, together with a coordinated card and another little gift from me just, just to say thank you. So if you haven't already done so, please run over and subscribe to my blog, which is at www.papercraftwithcrafty.co.uk. I've got an online shop there. You can buy any of the products that you've seen me use here today. So thanks very much for joining me and I will be back with another, another project for you very shortly. So bye for now. <laughs>